Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and I am coming at you guys today with a beauty haul. It has been a minute since I've done a makeup haul. I've been purchasing, you know, lippies and stuff like that, but I haven't really done any Sephora shopping, I don't think. But, you know, I was feeling a little down. So, what do I do when I'm feeling down? I go shopping. And I hadn't been recording because my beauty room was a mess and I just could not get my life together for nothing. So I finally get my room together, got my background back. This will be what you see when I'm filming. Um, unless I'm filming, filming a clothing haul, then it'll be the opposite end of my room. But I am, you know, I even changed around a little bit just to get my life back together because I was feeling like really cluttered and just down and stuff. So I was like, let me clean up some shit and maybe I'll feel better. And I actually do. I'm inspired again. I'm ready to do videos. And yeah, so the first video will be a makeup haul, of course. So I stopped by good old Sephora. And I picked up a few things. Um, I picked up the makeup eraser. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I been picked this up a couple of weeks ago. Maybe a month ago now. But I picked this up a while ago and I was not feeling it because... Yeah, um, I'm the type of person that does not read instructions. Like, I will take a phone out of the box and play with it to figure it out. Or I take a camera out and just, you know, go for what I know. I'm not reading instructions. And did the same thing with this. And I burnt my face like a rug burn the first night that I used it. So, I washed it. I soaked it. And then I tried it again. And now I love it. So, this is definitely a must-have. I love this. I haven't even been reaching for makeup wipes and yeah I ordered this from Sephora.com like I said a couple weeks ago and I have been using it every time I take my makeup off haven't even been using makeup wipes just this and then I wash my face and I have definitely definitely been loving this so yeah I ran out of all of my cleansers except for my two glam glow cleansers and I don't like to use those just on a daily basis to wash my face so I ran out of the Ole Henriksen African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser and I picked up just a small one just because I really do like this. But this isn't what I'm going to be using to clean my face with. But if I ever want to use it, I'll have it. But yeah, I just picked up a little one. I think these are like $9 by the register. I picked up a Clarisonic brush. Well, uh, replacement brushes. And I got the double pack. The twin pack. And this one is for sensitive skin. So I picked up that. Speaking of Glam Glow, they came out with a new mud. And this one is called the Flash Mud, which is a brightening treatment mask. And I'm all for that. So, yes, I picked this up. Love for a radiant glowing skin. Anything that's going to help my skin brighten, not lighten, brighten, I'm all for it. So, I love all the masks, all of them, except the black one I'm not a fan of. But I really don't use that one anyway. But all the other ones, the cleansers, the masks, love them. So, I had to get this. And I've been waiting for this one to come out anyway. So, yeah. I picked up the Urban Decay um, Blush and Bittersweet. And these are their new After Glow, After Glow 8 Hour Powder Blushes. And I picked this one up because I don't have a purple blush. I had one from La Femme and I sold it a while ago. But I really wanted another purple blush. And yeah, I should have used this today because I didn't put on any blush, just bronzer. But I'm really, really liking this color. Can't wait to play around with it and see if I want to get more blushes. Because they do have like a lot of colors that... um look brown girl friendly so yeah I might be checking those out I picked up two of the Sephora masks this is the rose mask for the face and this is the pearl eye mask haven't used this one yet so I don't know you know if I like this or not but I did use this when I burnt my face burnt my face when I tried out the um, makeup eraser the first night and I used this like a couple days after that and really like it I don't know if I love it enough to keep purchasing these but I liked it that night so yeah my face was really moisturized and look healthy and glowy so yeah and this one is for ultra hydration ultra moisturizing and brightening so yeah that's exactly what I felt when I used this so um, I am really 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 into SPF after I got my chemical pill I told you guys my esthetician told me to start using SPF I did once I went to the dermatologist and got prescription medicine they said make sure I use SPF I did well I thought I was I would use, I had the Alginus SPF 50. I use that. And it's okay, but it does leave my face like really, really white and purple. Like a purple undertone. But um, it's okay. And then I was using the Murad, the little 
primer with the SPF 30, 40, something like that. It's the clear one, the new one. And I was using that because it left my face clear. And I would use that and not put on anything. And that didn't work. Like every place I had had pigmentation came back with full vengeance. So I'm not using that anymore. I'm going back to using real SPF. And I picked up the Josie Maron um, Argan Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. Now this, I like how it goes on. I'm definitely going to be using this out in the when I go out in the sun and stuff. Yesterday I used it. Didn't put on any makeup or anything. And when I got in the store, I looked at my face. Looked like I had been bleaching my face crazy. And my whole face was like white and bright. And then, you know, my neck was brown. But I was like, oh my God, let me hurry up and get out of the store. Because I was in Charlotte Russe. So I was like, let me hurry up and get out of here and go home. Because I had no idea that's how my face looked. Until I got in the store under the lights, looked in the mirror. I was like, oh no, no ma'am, can't do that. So I like it. I will use it underneath my foundation. But... Just wearing it out on its own, mm -mm. I'm going to have to put something on top of this. But I did get the one I meant to mention in the Tinted Warm Glow. It does leave a nice glow to your face and I really like that. So, And it comes in this bottle like this. If you guys can see that. Next I got a few Makeup Forever items. I picked up the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I had this before but um, I don't even know what why I took it back. I took it back and tried a different Makeup Forever HD concealer, the HD concealer, the pen one. It was okay. I bought that one in like a lighter color so I can use it under my eye. That's why I took this one back. But I really, really like this like to cover up, like I just told you guys, like the hyperpigmentation I had came back because of the sun. So I'm using this to like cover up the little spots I have and I really, really like this. So yeah, got that. And I am in the color 18. Next from Makeup Forever, I got the Mist and Fix. Um, small size setting spray and I just wanted to give this a try just to see how it worked because I really don't have a setting spray I only have like refresher sprays not really a setting spray so this is that so I picked this up I also picked up the step one equalizing primer skin equalizer primer and smoothing primer I picked this one up um, I tried this one I had a sample of it tried it really really like it it feels in my pores really really well and like gives me a smooth face before I apply my foundation so I put that like right here only and the areas where I have enlarged pores really really like this and I also got a sample size and I also used a code online to pick up the matte um, step one from Makeup Forever yeah I like this one too it's comparable to the Becca one in my opinion I got a small size of this one as well but as you can see the little sample size is way smaller than this trial size or travel size they call it on sephora.com also from makeup forever I picked up this pro bronze fusion in 30m and it's like the deepest one and this is matte and I picked this up like as an all over face powder it's about my skin color so I picked this up to use like just all over to give my face a nice glow kind of like the MAC mineralized skin finish I don't know how it's gonna work I'll see I'll test it I'll let you guys know it's up um, two of the Tarte Tarte Guard 30s sample 100 per you know little things because like I told you guys I'm like obsessed with SPF and I'm trying to find the perfect one I even want to put tints on my car yeah all that uh, can't deal with the strong hyperpigmentation coming back because of sun damage so I'm trying to counteract that and wear SPF put some good tips on my car and all that stuff so yeah I'm gonna give this a try if I like it I might go get the big size but by the time I use this the summer will be over but you know I live in Miami so it's summer year round but anyway pick these up Janika was talking about this in our last favorite so I want to pick this up this is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder when I first tried it, I did not like it at all, but now I love it. I use it to set underneath my eye and, you know, where I highlight at so that I don't get such a strong highlight. It doesn't give a flashback and it's just nice. And sometimes after I do my, you know, my foundation, I'll dust my face with it. But using this to set, I really, really like it. At first when I tried it, I felt like it was making me oily. But once I continue to use it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, pick this one up and translucent. I also picked up a new perfume and this one is the Marc Jacobs Mood Noir and you just open the box like that and here is the perfume in the box. I love the way it smells. First I bought the Rollerball 
and I came home and I put it on my skin and walked I was like oh no I gotta go get the full size bottle and to me full size y'all know it's one ounce I'm not paying for the bigger ounces when I never ever ever go through a bottle of perfume so I picked the one ounce up I also bought the Versace the new one I didn't like it it didn't last at all like hmm. when I sprayed it in the store I liked it when I smelled it on the associate I liked it when I got home and wore it on me I didn't like it this is definitely everything everything love this and it will be more right there right there with the rest of my perfumes that I'm loving at the moment so can't wait to put this to use and yeah I'm just gonna spray some now oh come out a lot too oh yeah that smells so good love it and the final thing I picked up from Sephora is of course the Becca and Jacqueline Hill collab as you can see it has Jacqueline's face or you know picture back there and as you know it comes in the standard Becca highlighting packaging they didn't do any special edition packaging or anything like that as you can see it's like a peachy gold color um, she describes it as a white peachy gold so yeah and I'm actually wearing it <laughs> I'm actually wearing it now really really like it I didn't know if I was gonna get it matter of fact I didn't want to get it I was like I'm not buying any more highlighters all my highlighters wind up looking the same I use them for a week then they go back in the drawer and then I never touch them again so I was like I'm not buying any highlighters I wanted to get some ColourPop ones didn't wind up getting any of them so I was like I'm doing good but then one of my followers on Instagram shout out to the Leslie Jean I think that's how you say her name the Leslie Jean hey for telling me to go get it so I went and got it and I'm actually really liking it it looks good on brown skin girls or brown skin tone I thought it might not because she was describing it as she was trying to find something that would fit her sister who is very very fair I'm like okay if she's very very fair and you were trying to make sure it would look good on her you ain't have nobody to test to see if it was gonna look good on me <laughs> but it actually does and I like it so yeah keeping it in yeah, I like Jaclyn Hill. Um, I found out about Jaclyn Hill through Becca products. So, if it wasn't for the Becca Opal and everybody talking about Jaclyn Hill recommending Becca Opal, I would have never found out about Becca. Would have never found out about Jaclyn Hill and I love them both. So, yeah, great collab. So, that is everything that I got from Sephora. If you guys want to see what I got from Mac, y'all make sure y'all come back. I love you guys and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Yo.